What is up everybody? In today's video, we are going to be checking out L seats and how to reupholster a bucket seat. All that in today's episode. My name is Ryan. This is Project Race Car. Let's get into it. You guys can see the kitten is on the seat, but underneath her, the seats are just completely destroyed. Hey! Hey! The seats are just completely destroyed. Um, they are looking a little rough, um, but we are going to take all of this off, try to see how the seats are actually looking, um, and then we will take a look at the leather seats. So a subscriber mentioned to me uh, about L seats, and so I went ahead and checked them out, and they had uh, just tons of options for leather seats um, and just full kits. Um, this one was about $380 uh, with the um, piping line added to it. Uh, I chose that for an extra option just to make it look that much better. Um, but for all things said and done, this is high quality leather, very, very good stitching. I stitched the, or I reupholstered my other seat and it came out phenomenal. If you guys haven't seen that video, go check that out now. Um, but everything fit like really, really well. It's all very nice. The leather smells amazing and for the price, you can't beat it. Um, it was super easy to put on, uh, very easy to like, it just all worked and it worked well. If you're looking to reupholster your seat, I would recommend doing this. It's a pretty simple job. Um, just a little bit time consuming. I did mine over about a weekend, um, and I was distracted and taking breaks on it too. So, um, realistically, you could get this like all of your car done in about a weekend, um, just with a couple simple tools, of a um, hog ring pliers, um, a big set of hog rings. Uh, I recommend getting at least four hundred. Uh, I ran out of my first 110 uh, just with the back seat alone. Um, and then screwdrivers, uh, regular pliers, um, and uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, today we are going to reupholster the driver's seat, add a little bit of foam in there, uh, and try to get it looking a lot better. And for how good this leather and stitching is, um, you can't beat it. I'm very, very happy with uh, how it came out, how the other seats look. Um, I'm really happy with the color. Um, the color is just like this beautiful um, saddle brown peanut butter interior, and it just looks amazing. Um, the camera has a little bit of a, this lighting is a little bit weird, but um, I've seen their uh, other colors. They do different uh, styling and uh, there's a whole bunch of different options that you can get. You can change the stitching color on it um, and everything. I went with the tan and tan uh, just to make it look really nice. Um, but they have red stitching, black stitching. They they have everything. So um, they have at least eight different uh, color options for the leather. It's all genuine leather. And I couldn't be happier with the actual product. Um, I thought about doing this on my own, but uh, after seeing all the stitching and all of this work, um, this would have been a big pain. So it was well worth the money. Um, I would go check them out. The link is in the description down below. But let's get into it. So now that the kitten got up, um, we can see just how destroyed this is. I do not know what happened to it. Um, the car has 300,000 miles on it, so it was for sure driven a lot. Um, but you can see just like the dirt and the, it just needs to be reupholstered. So what we're gonna do is there are screws uh, holding this back part on. Um, so we're gonna take those out and then we'll start uh, just pulling the seeds apart. What's awesome about the L seeds is that they ship actually very, very quickly. Uh, I got mine in about three weeks, um, and so from ordering it and making it from scratch, 
uh, and getting it shipped to my house. Um, it was it came vacuum sealed and it came very very quickly. So I'm super super excited about um, just these seats and how it came out. And again, I was a little bit nervous for the process, but it came out really really good. You can see the kitten. Hey, stop that. She loves the seats, um, but we got them down to uh, somewhat separated. Uh, now what we have to do is we have to take the rails and um, the bolstering off, and then we can start working on getting all the hog rings off um, of this back piece as well. So I'm going to start with this back piece and then move to the seat. So if we take a look at the back, um, you can see that these little hog rings, uh, they just pull off with pliers and they're just mounted to um, random places uh, on the actual um, thing, right, uh, on the actual seat. But um, the uh, these are also part of um, how the upholster is um, attached. Um, so if we just pull the leather off of these, then uh, it starts to come off. So um, hog rings and uh, these guys, so we'll, we'll pull all, all of the leather off of here. Also don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content. Um, this is just one of the many projects that I do on my BMW E30. Um, and so we uh, I, I have some big plans for the car and we are just doing it one step at a time. Um, so it's looking a lot better, um, but uh, this is the main part of the upholstering. So it's very tedious um, and very simple work, but um, just time consuming. So with the hog rings, uh, all you'll wanna do is just grab them with a pair of pliers and twist, and it will pop them off. So it'll bend them enough to make them come off. Same thing over here, just grab it if you can. Okay, this is a bad example. And then twist it, and it pops right out. Another part of the like main pieces, um, just pull off of this tab. So it's a plastic, it's a plastic thing that just comes off of this tab. So if you just pull it, pull it up and it's just wrapped around like that it's just about finding where the upholster is like attached and just loosening that off so once that's all done oh we can see I forgot a hog ring and we just grab it twist it remove it <clears throat> and now the back is separated so now what we can do is we can pull out all of these staples and then we'll be able to put our first piece on I would highly recommend some sort of like um, like poker um, for this job uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull up and out each staple. Um, be very careful with this. These staples are, um, you can see that they're poking out. So they are pretty gnarly um, and they're very sharp. Um, so you just, uh, we can pull all of them out and then the backing will come off. And the last thing that's holding these seats on, uh, there's a bar that runs uh, horizontally along here um, and it's holding the fabric in and on there so there are hog rings um, just a single one down there down there and down there um, and so that's what's that's the last thing holding this, this on um, <clears throat> and then once those three are removed then uh, the seat cover will be ready to pull off here you can see that bar a little bit better. Um, so we're going to, uh, when we put the new upholstery on, we're going to have to uh, redo those hog rings. But that is one piece of the puzzle. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull them all off of uh, these um, hooks in the back and then remove these couple of hog ties. So I'm going to do one side, uh, pull it off and put a new piece on. That way I know um, how often to put the hog rings. Um, I can match it up with this side. So I'm going to do one side at a time and then continue from there. So you can see that just on this, like, you know, this car is 30 years old, so um, the seat covers are just, they're beat down. So um, <clears throat> this is going to be a perfect kind of setup for uh, any sort of resto mod um, to just make your car look that much better. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to find the seats. This thing lines up. Um, so this is going to be the back. You can see that these these two parts are the same. Um, so this is the piece that we're going to use. Um, and then we'll make sure that... Uh, maybe it's not the piece that we'll use. Yeah, so we're going to swap it. Um, so, um, <coughs> same piece, wrong side. Um, not that one this one. So you can see that these two are the exact same. Now in here uh, there is a wire. Um, hey, can you stop? Get out of here. She likes wires. Um, so there's a piece in here um, that's like a long wire and we're gonna have to use that for the seats. So I'm gonna pull that out and then put it in here. So this is what I'm talking about. So then I'm going to, there's a seam up here that, uh, that I'm going to put this through. And what that does is that gives us a rod um, to connect with uh, here when we uh, do the hog rings. So this will be tied and used as the strength of uh, the connection when we do the hog rings. So in terms of getting this on, now that we have this piece in, um, I'm going to just try to um, push it and pull the leather uh, and get it on as tight as possible. Um, and then what I'll do is I will um, hog ring this side and then I'll stretch the other side and pull it tight uh, and put it on those hooks. Now I have a trick for the hooks uh, to get them on there. Um, so stay tuned for that. So there's a hog ring right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here. Uh, I'm going to poke a hole through the leather. And that's going to be through both sides. And then again, we're catching that string that we put in there. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to pull it down until it gets close, right? We'll take our hog ring, put it through both of the holes and then hook it on that right there. And what we're gonna do is the hog rings fit um, directly in the pliers. Uh, there's little grooves. And then when you close them, uh, it wraps the ring around. So I got one of the sides done. Um, use the other side for reference. Um, it looks really good. Came out really nice. Um, went ahead and bent these all down, um, these little hooks. I bent them up to stretch the leather, um, but it looks good. I'm going to make sure that everything is tight, but you can see all we have to do is just repeat the step for the other side, and then we will be able to move on to the back and then the seat. Um, with the seat, since this is worn down, um, I think I got a uh, extra foam pad that I'm just going to put on there and I'm going to make sure that it's stiff enough and feels good. So flu flu approves. We're doing good. So after taking off um, the cloth, you can see that this whole driver's side is like falling apart. But unfortunately I don't have new foam. Um, and it seems to be holding up well, it's just kind of splitting. So um, I think with the new upholstering, 
uh, it's going to kind of keep everything tight. Um, before I tighten everything down, I'm going to make sure that the upholsterer looks good um, and that the leather looks looks all right. But um, that is for sure something that uh, yeah that we'll need to watch out for. So after me just putting on um, this like the leather, you can't even tell anymore that the stuff is like all jacked up. So I'm going to, again, add a couple hog rings, stretch this side. Um, I'll have to make a cut um, in this leather piece. Um, and I have to remember that the backing is going on. So um, you can cut a pretty decent size hole in this um, to make this fit. So uh, we'll do that and, uh, and then stretch the leather and make sure that this looks all good. So um, I'm having a bit of a issue just with um, the foam not being full, but uh, I think once it's fully stretched, it'll look really good. So I was able to get the other side reupholstered and it looks really good for how bad it looked before. So um, the leather is stretched enough, it feels very good um, and together and it looks a lot better. So now I will work on the back piece um, and then get the top all done. After doing a bit of editing I realized that this video is going to be about 30 minutes long so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this into two different parts uh, and part two will be linked in the description down below along with L seats. So make sure to give this video a like, subscribe for more content, and until next time my name is Ryan, this is Project Race Car. Have an amazing day, peace.